and you're here alone, an well, unattended young lady. Oh, the reckoning begins. Oh, come on. <laughs> you're, not, you're not joking with me, are you, now? Well, I'm out here searching for my maternal aunt, Elsie. She was my mother's twin. Aunt Elsie married a man, Dr. Victor Mordenheim, who lost his mind in his work shortly after they were married. My aunt disappeared several years ago, and I've been looking for her ever since. It is rumored that he performs grotesque experiments on her, and I am here to seek vengeance if this is true. I have been unable to locate his private laboratory. My travels led me here. All the rumors point to this area, so I believe he is close. Um, is that kind of thing common here? Like, is this a dangerous area? Do people, like, go missing like this? I've heard in the last town I was in that, indeed, people have been gone missing. Well, then maybe that's why we're here. I mean, if we don't know why we're here, then we can try to solve this thing, and then it gives us a purpose for being here, and maybe we can go back to where we came from. I would very much enjoy your help if you are capable, but it may be do dangerous. Have, do you have anything to, like, offer us for helping you, or... Any advice, maybe? Anything you can give us? Any knowledge of... I can, cover, I can cover lodging and expenses for you. I don't have much on me. I've been traveling a while, and I have, I'm short on funds myself getting this far. I have provisions and a camp nearby if you need a place to stay for the night. Do right, you guys think that maybe if you can idea to stay at the camp, but like we keep like watch like shifts? Yeah, that sounds good. Sure. Want to go on an adventure? <laughs> yeah, it could be fun. Winter. Yeah. No. Hey, okay. okay. that's not my name. I know. Hold on. Amaranth. Amaranth. Yeah. Amaranth. Since you're the one actually uh, scouting around outside the camp a little as you go. I love how I'm actually a scout now. <laughs> I know. We were playing the part. You notice on one stretch of your little scout maneuver that you see small streaks of lightning and a glowing aura coming from a small mansion perched atop a cliff several miles away. The hill overlooks the nearby sea. What do you do? I don't know, but I want to run ahead. And I don't want to go alone. Okay. Well, are, you... they, are they well rested? Are they like at full health or whatever since we're starting the game? Yeah, yeah, everybody's at full health. Do you go alert the so camp? Do we have everything? Go back to camp. Yeah, do we have everything we could be getting from this camp? We're not leaving any provisions behind? Should we explore maybe? Should we rob her? I would <laughs> recommend it. Although I am curious as to how she got here by herself. I mean, did you see any wildlife while you were scouting around? I'm curious as to whether or not she sleeps naked. Well, you it's just bizarre that she's here by herself. Does anybody wake up Katrina? Um, yeah, we should wake her up and notify her that- Oh, wait, 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 do we trust her? How do we know she's not, like, consorting with this wizard and she's gonna, like, call him on her cell phone and be like, Hey, you're coming, stop it! We, well, we should leave her a note, let's leave her a note so she gets in the morning and knows where we've gone and what's happened, but we don't notify her that we're leaving right now because she can't do anything to, like, harm us on the way over there. Well, on one hand, yeah, she's been able to survive out here by herself. On the other hand, if we take her with us, we can keep an eye on her. Oh, um, do you want to take her with us? I guess we can say we would help her though, so if we can just take off without her. Or, well, well yeah. aren't we still helping her by investigating this mystery? And did she say she wanted to come with us? Yeah, well, it just isn't more dangerous to leave her behind. I don't know. I don't think it's more dangerous for us, it might be more dangerous for her, but that's not really our concern. That's true, it's not actually we're actually hired. I vote no, but you guys... We can wake her up and tell her what we're going to do, but then she may want to come along. We tie, we tie her down with, like, edible Twizzlers, so she can, like, gnaw her way out, but it takes time. <laughs> She'll follow us. Of course, like, what is this? Should we have again? You do not have Twizzlers, but it's a good plan. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Mandy. Do you want to leave her a note, though? Like, do you, I guess it won't hurt if she can't read it. It's not going to make it worse. I'm going to stop everybody right here. And I'm going to make okay. everybody roll a d20. Okay. Okay. Like a d20, like a d20. I'm going to check all of your wisdom scores. Yeah. Fail. Fail. 
and win. Well. All right. Zebulus. Yeah. You're the only one who noticed that Katrina has woken up from all of your debating about whether or not you wanted to take her with you and is faking still being asleep. So we shouldn't trust her. I told you guys. Well, I have to, I have to decide whether or not I want to tell you that she's woken up. I don't trust you either. This is, this is. No, 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 no. Hold on. I'm going to walk around and I'm going to tap her on the shoulder. All right. She'll make a scene of waking up. <sighs> yeah. Oh, what's going on? See, now, now that you've woken her up or, like, let her know that, like, oh, I'm waking you up, now you can pretend like you were going to, like, tell her things because we know that she already overheard us. So now you can pretend to be your friend, get her to, like, trust you more, and then we'll stab her in the back and throw her in the alley. Almost. <laughs> Not quite. <laughs> <laughs> so we are going to investigate a, ma- a mansion on a cliff. Apparently covered in electricity, or at least there's a lot of it there. Do you want to come and investigate? It might be your uncle. If it is my uncle, I think I should be there. If he has done the terrible things that other people say, I'm going to stop him. Does he sound? It looks like a the home of a mad wizard. Did you have some kind of charms or something to protect yourself? In fact, I am a wizard myself. I am a diviner. Oh. I misjudged you greatly. And Lady Katrina, you'd be honored if you would uh, join us on our trip to this strange mansion. Thank you, Zebulus. Let's get going. I've packed the gear. Oh, how very efficient. And she hands you a piece of dried meat and says, let's get going. Who does she have? Like yeah. yeah, it's like provisions. <laughs> All right, now we have our own provisions, right? Yeah, but she said she'd give you provisions for helping. Ah. Never say no to free food when you're in a Dungeons and Dragons game. I should have offered peace and feed it to one of my chickens. <laughs> I have chickens. I remember. I do. He does. He has. He has a crate of chickens with him. I forgot to describe that. Yeah. Oh wait, was that from Corey or was that that was from Thaddeus, right? What was? Story? Yeah, no, that was from me. Yeah, Corey yeah, has no idea. Don't yeah. let him know. Oh. Corey, you're for some lulls and surprises. Great. I love it. <laughs> when Katrina sees the glow in the sky, she, she grows excited. That's it. That's the house. From the stories I've been told, that's, that has to be the place. That's becoming us. I'm hearing this thing from her a lot in the stories. I don't know anything personally. That's like when you sell drugs and you're like, I'm not the drug dealer. Let me go upstairs and call my drug dealer. I'll get you the drugs. I'm just the middleman. And then you go upstairs and you got the drugs and you're like, oh, here, I got them for you from my drug dealer. It's not me. Don't shoot me. The wind is brisk and cold chilling you through your clothes and armor as you ascend the steep slopes to the house. The deep green trees and nearly black grass absorb the weak sunlight peaks from above and dense cloud cover. The only sound is the snapping and cracking under your feet as dry, brittle branches and twigs give way under your footsteps. Reaching the top of the hill, and you see the house has a paramount view of the ocean. Below the sea's murky surface, waves and shivers from unseen forces. Only the wind in your hair and the call of lonely seagulls break the deafening silence that hangs in the air. Far across the ocean, a mist-laden island is vaguely visible. The wooden door to the old mansion is reinforced with iron bars. The bars are blistered and flaking with blood-red rust. The wood is cracking and splintered with age. Shutters on the second floor bang and rattle against the house. It's the door! No, 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 no. <laughs> you're, you're, you're a scout. You're so used to uh, looking for other options. Yeah, going through windows and whatnot. I'm finding out windows and landing in beaches. 
I'm carrying a crate of chickens and I'm... I think, can oh, we yeah. find... Oh, yeah. Can we look for another ground floor entrance? Okay. Um, so I'm going to go scout for, for... Can I see? Yeah. Um, no, you'll need a you'll need a torch. But... Okay. You know... Get a torch now. Ka Katrina will hand you a torch so you can, so you can see oh. around the corner. Okay, thanks. She's okay, got permission. So I'm going to go ahead and scout. But I think that... I think that um, A should come with me because he's the strong one, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can keep the wizard co company. But yeah, you watch. You watch the girl since you guys are so buddy buddy, and you know, be nice to her. She doesn't. She shouldn't know that you're watching her. She should think you guys are buddy buddy. You can gossip about us so that you bond over it while we're gone. Sure. Okay. So John, come with me.